Okay, so this is a quick tape for Stefan, just to help you understand what I did and how I chose my rope, the proper length, and kind of a little bit of cycle babble behind my, uh, the reasoning behind my madness. So what I did was I went to the store and I picked up a seven foot length of 10 millimeter climbing rope. Um, I found that 10 millimeter was okay because I knew I was gonna double it. And once doubled, um, it's thick enough where I have a good hand purchase. If the rope was thinner, um, it would be a little kind of small and I'd probably need to wear gloves or something as it started cutting into my hands. Um, so once again, this is a 10 foot, or excuse me, a 7 foot piece of 10 millimeter climbing rope. So when I picked up the rope, the first thing I did was I folded it in half, as you can see here. And the first thing I did was I put the bottom knot. So I know the bottom knot, um, once it's done, I have a little bit of left over here. So the bottom knot is now established. Then what I did was I went to the very, very top, I gripped it, and then I put the second knot right below my grip. So now the bottom knot is established, the top knot is established. And then somewhere in between, I put the second one, or the third knot, excuse me. So now this gives me three positions to hold on to my, my uh, length of rope. Uh, I'll show you a little bit more uh, how I use the rope uh, on the hangboard in, uh, in just a second. Um, but that's what I did. Uh, my suggestion to you would be, since you're taller and you have uh, longer arms, um, I use a seven foot section of rope. You might go maybe like with a nine foot, or I would even go with a 10 foot section of rope. Um, the reason being is, when I have my hand on the top jug and I have my hand on the top knot, I'm okay. But once I start advancing, I'm going to start going to the bottom knot. And since your arms are longer, you might need to extend a little bit longer, lower down below. Um, so yeah, so being taller, I would go probably with like maybe a 9 foot or a 10 foot piece of rope, 10 millimeter rope. Um, I can't remember what it cost me. Um, you might even go somewhere and get it for cheap. I went to REI and picked this one up. They cut it right there for you on the spot. Um, like I said, you could probably go to the rock climbing gym. I'm sure they got some old rope. Just use some old ghetto homie don't you know me rope. Um, so that's it. Establish your bottom knot first so you know where the bottom is. Establish your top knot so you got a good hang grip right here. Put the other one right in the middle and there you go. All right, I'll see you over in the hang board in a second. Okay, so right now I'm up here on my hang board and I just want to explain a couple of things that what I did. I had removed my uh, hangboard, I had removed my backer board, so they're both, you know, off. And what I did was I went to the store and I picked up some uh, T-bolts, some 3 8 inch T-bolts. So what I did was I drilled some holes on my backer board, I put the T-bolt behind the backer board, which is like a female, and then I put the screw into the backer board, or excuse me, into the T-bolt. So now this, um, uh, the rock anchor, it's fastened to my backer board. Nothing to do with my wall at all. So that's a much, much stronger uh, way to put it on there. Um, I just did this because I did this, you know, but you can do it anyway. Some people actually have like little hooks hanging here, little loop hooks. Um, but if your wood is thick enough, I guess that'd be cool. But in my case, it wasn't. So I just used the uh, T-bolts from the back. 3 8 inch T-bolts from Lowe's or something like that. Um, Home Depot. Also, when I put these, uh, the anchors, what you want to do is you want to, uh, when I'm doing pull-ups rope assisted, if I'm holding onto the jug with my right hand, where my left hand rope is, you want to right around shoulder width apart. So that kind of gives you an idea of where you have to place this, either here, 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 wherever. Just pretty much shoulder width apart. So if I'm going to be holding onto the other side, it's going to be like such. So right about shoulder width apart is what you're looking for. Uh, talk a little bit about the carabiners. This is a Metolius, uh, I think it's a mini carabiner. It uh, holds 22 kilonewtons. So a kilonewton is equivalent to around 225 pounds. So this little uh, mini carabiner over here will actually hold uh, almost 5,000 pounds of weight before it starts opening up and stretching. Um, the rock anchor itself uh, it's rated at 25 kilonewtons, which is almost like 5,600, 5,700 pounds. So more than more than enough um, than what I need. Also, uh, another thing that I was learning is uh, when you start doing uh, rope assisted one handed pull ups, you always want to start working on your weak hand first. So in my case, um, I would always start with my left hand because I'm right handed. 
So I always start with my left hand and I would be like this. That would be my starting position. Do what I need to do, take the break, and then go into my right hand. Um, the way that you grab the knots also is super, super important. I'm just beginning. This is only like my first time, second time doing this. I'm actually uh, doing the routine. Um, so I'm still grabbing it up high. So what I'm doing is, uh, as I'm lifting, I'm really trying to concentrate on my uh, right arm because that's the one that I'm working on, you know, or my left arm, whichever arm is holding onto the jug. So I try not to use as much pulling on the rope as I can. So once again, I'm going to be pulling up. The higher you hold it up, the more you're going to be pulling. And I'm really trying to work on my right hand over here. As you start going down, it becomes a lot harder. And now it's kind of like pulling to get you going. And then when you get to a certain point, you're going to be pushing. And then, of course, once you're down at the very, very bottom, it's going to be pull to get you started. And then you're going to lift up a little bit with your strong hand. And then you're going to bend the rope, of course. And you're going to pull down or push up, I mean. So it's going to be uh, uh. And you can see here in the center, I can't even do one of these yet. So, just getting started. So anyways, those are pretty much the basics of what I have going. Um, Alright, that kind of explains my cycle bath a little bit. Hope that helped.